everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome happy friday guys i hope everybody had a wonderful thanksgiving um i made it back out to the dollar tree um that's the extent of my black friday shopping <laughs> i went there i came home and that was about it but i did find a bunch of new stuff um some of it's christmas some of it's a lot of other things that i found there that i haven't seen before so let me get started here the first thing i want to show you guys is these rub-on transfers these were actually just put out in the fall department look how pretty these are and these i don't know it doesn't say how many but whatever um i just thought these were so pretty but i am going to put these away for next year and um I'll figure something to put these on, but I just thought they were really nice. And then they also had these, so I picked up two of each, and these with just the leaves for these rub-on transfers. I mean, it's a shame they didn't come out until now when <laughs> I'm getting ready to put all my fall stuff away. But anyway, they're really nice, so I will put them away for next year. And then as far as Christmas stuff, I did pick up some more of these boxes for gift cards. Um, I think I got one of these. I might have got one of both of these the other day. I know I got this guy, but maybe I didn't get the snowman. And these are real nice. They have the little slots in there where you can put the um, gift cards. And these are so much nicer than, you know, the little tiny tin boxes you used to get to put like gift cards in. I just thought these were really nice. Uh, much bigger. And these are a little bit smaller, but I thought these were really nice too for gift cards. And that seems to be the way to go with the, when the kids get older and they don't know what they want. I don't know what they want. So you know what? You get a little something and a gift card. And then I picked this one up with the snowman on it. I like the outside. I don't know what was on the outside of this one. Oh, this one just has like some pine cones and berries and pines and stuff on the edges. Oh, and the back is completely different too. See, I didn't turn that around. This one just has snowflakes on I'm kind of sad that this is printed on here that you can't just peel that off but otherwise they're really nice and this is the snowman one so yeah I just think this is such a nice much nicer way to give a gift card and then I found these stickers this is the first I've seen any Christmas stickers at Dollar Tree this year so I'm still finding new things here and there and you get 80 pieces in here and these are just nice to like stick on a package stick on a Christmas card if you're sending them out and these are just real pretty. These have all kinds of snowmen in them. I'll try to get the glare off of there. And then there's these. Just a little something to stick on there. It says there's 80 pieces in here. Get these apart. I guess that is... Oh no, it does come apart. And then those guys... I think they're pretty much... Oh no, they're completely different. I thought maybe they were the same. But those are nice. And then you get these. Yeah, I thought those were... Oh, there's another page yet. Hang on. Yeah, these are very nice. These will look really, really nice on a card and things this year. So I got that one. They have four different ones that I found. They all... I think they all have 80... Oh, they all have 80 pieces in them, so I'm hoping they're all kind of... Oh, look how cute these are. I've got your little penguins and a <clears throat> snowman, a little fox. Oh, look at that. There's a little mouse on an ornament. These are really nice. And here we go with the snowman again. And we have a Christmas sweater. And there's a Christmas rhinoceros. You don't see one of those every day. <laughs> but yeah, I thought these were really nice. They're pretty much a lot of doubles in that one. And then this one here is a gingerbread house on the front. These are very shiny, but they're all very nice. I think some of these are duplicates from the other one, too. Maybe a little bit different, but they're all really pretty. And some more gingerbread houses. Oh, and some hot chocolates. I love adding little stickers and things to cards. It just makes it much more fun. All right, that's that one. And then the last one here is a snowman and a penguin on the front. And there's some more of these guys. <clears throat> there's just some ornaments. Oh, these guys are cute. I love them. They're 
are very, very nice. I'm just going to smooth the ornaments. So, yes, yeah, so these are all really nice. Um, no matter what you want to do with them for Christmas. So, that was that that I found new. And I picked up these bags. I have some other ones, but I got these. These are a little bit bigger than the other ones I found. These are 5 inches wide and 9 inches tall and 3 inches deep. So, you could put a lot of goodies in there. You get 8 of them in here. You don't get quite as... I forget what was in the other packages that are smaller. I don't have any here. Um... But I thought these were a nice size, and it's just a Santa's, and it has the, um, you know, little twisty tie thing. It's already connected to the bag, which is great. So I picked up those. That was the only ones that I saw that I cared for. And then I did get another pack of uh, gift tags. And this one has the truck and the Believe and the Joy. And you get 20 pieces in here. Well, that's pretty nice. I didn't realize there was that many in here. I really didn't think there was that many. Oh, that's great. 20 pieces, and they're two and a half inches by four inches. So those are nice, and you could even make little cards and things out of these, too. But I like those. I like those on that brown paper. It looks really cool. And then I just grabbed some more tissue paper. Never have enough of this. And this one has the trucks, and usually you only get a couple of the printed ones, and the rest of them are kind of... I don't know. Let's take a peek in here. Yeah. Well, there's quite a few, actually. Oh, there's some white, a lot of white. Um, but you don't get a lot of the printed ones in there, but they still look nice if you put that on the top. But that's what those are like in there. And then this one has more of that browns again. And I like that with just the words and things on it. And you get 14 sheets. That one, the other one had 16. This one has 14. And, um, yeah. And this one has 16. I like this one. I really like that. Um, the holly berries and things. I thought that was real nice. And then it has a printed one there with sayings on it. But I never can have enough tissue paper. Um, you know, if you use a lot of gift bags and things like that, which is so much easier than wrapping. And then I found, well, let me sit down here. What am I doing? Oh, these. This is the first time this year I have found these, and I was so excited. These are the wire garland ties. You get 12 in there. I love these for doing little different craft projects, and um, these have the nice brown in them too, like the trees do now, so they're not just all green, and I mean, you can use them to tie up different things with around the house, but I love to do the, use these like just to embellish different Christmas crafts, and um, I cut them down to use in centerpieces and things, so I picked up four bags of those. And they were actually still in the box on the floor, but somebody had already opened them. But that is the first time I found them this year, because I always get them every year there. And then I found these. These are called Rooms Bloom American Oak Preserving Company. Huh. But these have kind of a cinnamon smell. Cinnamon <laughs> they smell like cinnamon is what I'm trying to say. Kind of. I don't know. Maybe it's just kind of not real strong. But these little bags of pine cones, and they each had one of these um, really pretty gold leaves in there. And I always grab pine cones whenever I see them because they're great for fall and Christmas decorating. And you get about what? Mm, there's about six pine cones. No, wait a minute, there's five in here. One, two, three, four, five. There's five in that one. Yeah, I guess you get five pine cones in there and your little gold leaf. But you can never have enough pine cones for the decorating with. Now, let's see. I'm trying to make sure I get all the Christmas stuff done here first. Oh, I picked up these. And I thought these would be nice on some tables. Um, and I think they have these pretty much all year round. Um, but these are the table runners, and they have these in with the Christmas decorations. And these are 12 inches wide and 72 inches long. So I thought they would look really pretty with some, um, you know, Christmas decorations going across it on the table. So I got the red one, and then I also picked up this green, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, they're not listed as, you know, Christmas items, so I'm pretty sure they have these most of the time of the year, but they are very, very pretty. I never noticed how nice these were before. So I did pick up those, too. I thought those would be nice to put some decorations on. And this I picked up, I think they've had these before, too, but this is the first time I found them this year, and these are the color-changing LED taper candles, and they had them in green, and 
Hmm, I don't remember what other color. Red, green, maybe it was blue. I don't remember. I think there was three different colors. But these are really pretty. I don't quite know what they look like lit up. Do these already come with batteries in them? Oh, yeah, it does. So let's light this up. I'll tell you in a second because I haven't seen them at all this year and I really, I know I've had them before but I don't remember. Or they may have been different. I don't know. But let's pull that open. I always love checking things out here. Oh, yeah, I, oh, oh, it's a, well, it's not too bad. Oh, I don't care for the flashing stuff. But sorry if that bothered anybody, but I didn't realize these things flashed like that. But they are pretty. They are pretty even just as a decoration. I don't even, I may use these, but I don't think I'm going to light them. I don't like that real fast flashing decorations. So I'm glad I just got one. Let's see, is that it for Christmassy, Christmassy stuff? I think so. Uh, I do have some flowers I'll show you at the end after I bring in little P here. I'll save some things to show you with him. But I went down in that section where we have the books, and I thought these were really nice. And these are ready-to-read books, they're called. And this says, Make a Trade, Charlie Brown. So I'm going to put this away for my granddaughter for Christmas. I just thought that was real nice. And then I also found this one, too. It says Lucy Knows Best. And it's just, you know, some pretty easy reading for kids that are starting out reading. So, yeah. And I always love the peanut guys. So I picked those two up. They did have other ones there, too. I don't remember what the other ones were. But they had a lot of that nice stuff like that. Um, and then in the toy section, I actually found Silly Putty. I don't know if they ever carried Silly Putty before. I've never seen it. I picked up a bunch of these that I am just going to give to some of the kids who are all grown up. But I think this will just be something fun to stick in a little stocking for them. Um, I think I got like five of these. But who doesn't love Silly Putty? And I love the packaging on this. <laughs> it's awesome. But you know, everybody loves Silly Putty. Um, and this is a Crayola brand. So it's the name brand. You can stretch it, bounce it, you know. We used to take it on the newspapers and copy stuff off of it on them. Then they get all nasty and dirty. But they're fun. So I picked up several of those. And then I found these mirrors. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, from what I've seen, I'm pretty sure this, it doesn't say, it just says tabletop or table mirror. Uh, or you can flip the stand and hang it on a wall. And I'm pretty, pretty sure... Let me take this out of here. It does. It has one side is magnified. And so if you stand that up, whoops. Well, it doesn't stand very well. Or am I doing it wrong? Ah, I was absolutely doing it wrong. So it kind of stands up like that. I don't want to shine that light in your eyes. And then it flips around. And then the other side is a nice mirror. Yeah, I don't want to flip this around. That light's going to blind you. But yeah, these are pretty nice. It has a little stand there. If I, it just says table mirror, flip, hang on the wall. Yeah, so I actually, there was one box of them open there, so I checked it out, and I was like, wow, I'm really impressed. It is magnifying mirror, which I need for everything anymore. And it's a nice little gift for someone, too. It's a nice little packaging. So that was down in with, you know, like where the hairbrushes and all that stuff are. And also down in there, I found these. I thought these were so pretty. These are scrunchy, which is a nice brand too. But I thought this would be great for some spring DIYs and just to have like this decoration on it. It's got these pretty daisies and it has this nice gold loop. I mean, I realize it's a hair tie, but <laughs> I always see something else when I look at stuff. I don't know why, but I thought those were real pretty. So I picked up two of those. So I'm going to stick them in with my spring stuff that I have and... I'm going to do something with those in the spring. I thought that was really nice. So that's why I got those, but they, I'm sure they would be lovely in your hair. And I picked up another one of these turkey basters because mine just did not work out at all. <laughs> the one that I had, and actually the one that I had, I paid a lot more money for. So I'm going to replace that one. That one went in the trash after turkey day. And... I just picked up another one, so hopefully this one works better than the one that I got from the grocery store that was like five bucks, and it was awful. So, let's 
so that was that. So let's see, where to from here? I have just so, I found so much stuff. I walked in there, it was another one of the days, like I really didn't think I was going to find anything. I picked up these picture frame holders. Now these are actually really big. This says 4 by 6 picture, but I want to do something with this. I may do something with this for Christmas and decorate these up because they stand so nice. And I got one of these in black. Um, and I don't know how big these are. It's just telling me 4 by 6 but these things are big. Let's see. Let's grab my ruler here like I always do upside down. And they're about 10 inches tall. And I would say about, hold still, about seven and a half inches wide. And they're kind of thick too. It's a thick plastic thing here. It's about almost three quarters of an inch wide. They're very light. They're hollow like the plastic. But how cool would they be to do something with? So we shall see. I don't know if I'm going to do it for Christmas, for Easter, for, I don't know. We'll see. It depends on how much time I have. I can't believe how quick everything is coming. And now these I found in where they have the faces and the little stones and things. I found these cute little bottles here. This one has like a little heart lock on it. I thought how cute would this be for like Valentine's Day too. I'm always thinking ahead. And plus they're plain and I could decoupage them. That's always my first thought. But I found that one that had the little heart um, keyhole on it and then this one has the key and I thought those were really really nice so I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet I'm gonna put those away this will be an after Christmas project but you know I love anything like this I find I love to like see what I can decoupage on it and then I did get down the crafter square section and found some more wood stuff they haven't had these in a while so I picked up another pack of these wood planks these are the seven um, by 2.875, 7.125 sizes. You get six in here, and these are great to do a lot of projects with. I've made my little stands and things over there that I use with these. And then these are four and a half by four and a half inch squares, and you get six of those in here too. And now these were nice. I did use some smaller ones of these in a DIY this week, and they were nowhere as near as big as this. And if I would have had these, this is what I would have used probably for that project. Now these measure, of course, I don't know why they don't put the measurements on here. All they have on here is wood hanging decor is what they're calling these. Now this one is, it's about four and a half inches wide. Well, it's much longer. I should have my yardstick out here. Let's see, we're going to just measure with the thumbnail. So 12, 30, right, about 18 inches long. So these are really nice. So I picked up four of these. Um, like I said, I wish I would have had these for my picture frame project. They may be too long for that one, though. But that would have looked great for the back of those picture frames. So that was that. Oh, and in craft, this I found. This wasn't even... I don't know what they're considering this. If this is a Crafter Square project, it kind of has the same packaging. But this is a frosted window film. And they have, like, two different... It's so cloudy or dark out my window right now it's hard to get the glare off but they have these pretty ones here they didn't have any of those like has like a flowery print but they had a bunch of these so I picked up one um, I don't know I thought maybe it'd be cool to you know maybe frost something that we're working on here and I think it's a pretty big sheet of it what does it say 11 inches 11.8 by 47.2 inches so yeah you get quite a bit of this stuff and this might be cool to it has like that geometric pattern on it. It's really nice. So we'll see what we're going to do with that. So I just grabbed one of those. I get all excited when I see something new. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I still had to get it. But I'm always working with glass projects and stuff. So we'll see what they will frost something one of these days. And then I did find a couple more washi tapes. They call these tape, just tape. Um, this is Crafter Square, too. This one looks kind of like a watermelon print, so I really like that. I don't need any more washi tape. I keep collecting it, and I never seem to get to use it. But I like this one with kind of the palm trees and the, um, they look like the old Volkswagen buses. So I thought that was nice. And these are great to put, like, on birthday cards, envelopes, or decorate up a package if you send something out in the mail. 
So let's see. I know I went crazy in there today. I seriously did not think I was going to even find enough stuff to make a haul. Now these I picked up because I thought these would look real pretty in a dish for Christmas time. I don't know why I only picked up one bag. I should have got a couple of these because these just look so nice. And these are the peppermint candy puffs. Um, so yeah, I may go back and get some more of these before Christmas. Uh, it says the original melt away mint by Redbird. But yeah, these are really good and I love to have these around for Christmas time. So I'm going to have to I don't know why I got one. I'll probably never find them again with my luck. And I did pick up a pack of the watermelon taffy. They did not have any of the orange or the, the creamsicle one that I usually get. But I like these two. So I picked up another one of those. And this stuff I got here to make a trail mix like in the next week or so here. I picked up two packs of this, the Chex Mix. Um, this is the traditional Chex Mix. And it's quite a nice size bag. It's 8.75 ounces. Um, and, you know, it has all these the corn checks in there, the round pretzels, the rye chips, wheat checks, bread sticks, and square pretzels. And then if throw all that in the bowl, along with a can of these peanuts. I got these planters peanuts. This is a six ounce can of the planters peanuts. So if you're just having people over, you throw all that together. And then I'm going to throw in a pack of the um, Nestle's Crunch, the little little bunch of, a bunch of crunch. They're just little pieces of like next Nestle Crunch. So we mix that all in there. And the kids love this kind of stuff. And I also take a pack of these Hershey bars and I break these all up and toss them in there too. And it's just a wonderful little sweet and salty kind of snack to munch on. So I got enough to make two batches of this stuff. So when anybody happens to pop in, it's a nice little treat to have. So yeah, I have another pack of these and another pack of these in here. Two cans of the peanuts if I don't eat those before then because I love peanuts. Alright, so I do have some more stuff left. I know, I can't believe how much stuff I actually found today. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way and then I will go get little Pete and bring him in here so he can say hello and I'll be right back. All right, here comes P and his favorite bet. Sway. I don't know what just scared him when we walked in here. I know I have a bunch of Christmas flowers and things out, but he actually flew across the room. He never flies, do you? And look at you shaking. I don't know what you saw that scared you. Was it the poinsettias in the vase over there that I made? I don't know, probably because it was something different. That's all right. So now you're not going to talk to anybody? We'll turn around and say hi. Ask every. Oh, look at that. That was pretty tricky. Let's try that again. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> You're funny, pig. Yeah, I don't know what scared him when I brought him in here, but this kid, look at him shaking. What happened? We gotta show the rest of this stuff here to everybody. Are you okay? Do you not want to be in here today? I don't know what scared you. You're mad. And now you don't want to leave. All right, so, well, you're all out of breath. You're not used to flying. I don't know why he never flies. He has all of his feathers. Um, he only flies when something scares him. Sometimes he'll see a hawk outside on the back deck, and he'll he'll take off from there. And But that's about it. All right, all right you don't want to leave? Do you want to go back? No? All right. Well, we're going to finish this up. Everybody's going to think you're a nervous, nervous Nelly here today. Shake it off. There you go. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's finish doing this stuff. He doesn't want to leave, so I picked up some of these Salam Selective. This is the Argon, Argon Oil Hair Treatment. It's a five-ounce thing. It's for damage repair. And I like to put this kind of stuff on my hair every once in a while because, you know, it gets real, especially in the wintertime, it gets so dried out. I have not tried this yet, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not, but I figured for a dollar I'll give it a try. And then this one here is for Curl Stretch Cream. Um, and this has shea butter. It's for curl control. And my hair is crazy curly. So we're going to give this a try too, and I'll let you know what I think of these things. But I was happy to find them for a dollar. And of course I had to pick up a pack of these Ferrero Rocher. Rocher I love these, especially this time of year. So I figured this is just enough for now 
because if I buy the big bag of them, I will eat the whole big bag of them. But those are wonderful. And they're nice to stick in a little gift, too. And then I picked up a box of these tissues only because I like this print. And I like to have the smaller box, especially here in my craft room. I don't have a lot of room. Um, so I like to keep a box of these in here. I just thought that was so pretty. And these are the Scotty's Everyday Comfort Use. You know, it's a tissue. What do you think? Do you like the tissues? Do you want to open them? Oops, I put a piece of... Oh no, I'm scaring you here now because I'm bumping into things. I put a piece of your wood here too. I don't know if you're even going to want that. Tell everybody that Tuesday was your birthday. I forgot to say that in the last haul. You did a haul on your birthday and we didn't even say happy birthday, huh? Tell everybody, I'm five years old now. Huh. I know, you're going to bite me. Thank goodness you like me because you didn't bite me hard. Huh. It's all right, little P. I don't know what scared him. Anyway, let's finish this up here, guys. Oh, these I picked up. I thought these would be great to have around the holidays here, too, with people coming and going. Um, these Lay's Stacks. These are the sour cream and onion. You know, it's kind of like the Pringle kind of deal. But I've never tried these. I'm hoping that they're they're good. And then I also got a... This is probably the one I'll eat. Is the original chip stacks. So... And that's five and three quarter ounce container. It's a nice size. So these are great just to sit out on the table. So we got them. What else did we get? Oh, we got two more toys for Charlie because he chewed all most of his other ones up. I picked him up a Batman. This is from Justice League. And they have these cute little toys there to stick in stockings for kids. And then I also got this one. And this is armed armored Batman from Justice League. And Charlie doesn't care which one it is. He's just going to want to pick it up and play with it and chew it and throw it and whatever he does. Um, and then I picked up... Are these what you're, I hope these aren't what you're afraid of. These are poinsettias, and these are really little poinsettias. They're pretty shiny, these are, but I think these are going to look pretty in something. But these are real small compared to the other poinsettias. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but these are really tiny ones. So I did pick up two... Of the, well, they only had one of the red ones. I would have got two of the red ones, too. But I picked up two of the white, two of the red, and I figured they would look nice in a little vase tucked in a corner somewhere, too. And I think that is it. Of course, I got more than I thought I was going to get, huh, Pay? Yeah, we're not talking to anybody. I still don't know what scared him when we came in here. So do you want to go back now? Do you want to tell everybody to have a wonderful weekend? Is that how you tell them? Come on over here. Come on over here so everybody can see your pretty eyes. Mm. Oh, look at my pretty eyes. <laughs> Are you showing off your pretty eyes? Oh, and you're going to poop. How nice. You weren't supposed to do that. Now you're ready to go? All right. We'll say thanks so much for watching, everybody. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Ow, your nail. <laughs>